Hi everyone, welcome to MJS Coaching Football. Coach Sullivan here. I was a defensive coordinator this past fall in my 39th season. I hope yours was as, was as successful as ours in 2021. In this presentation, I'd like to talk to you about one of our three, four packaged plugs that we call Sloop Split Baxter. So we're combining Sloop Split with a Baxter plug. Okay, I'm going to show it to you versus 11 personnel over here. So first thing I'm going to do is go through the key terms in the left-hand column to make, help you better understand how we execute Sloop Split Baxter. Okay, and included in that how we uh, do not put our nose in conflict. Okay, so the first key term here is package plug itself. So in this case, we're combining an outside linebacker plug with an inside linebacker plug. Sloop split is the outside linebacker plug, plug, excuse me. Baxter is the inside linebacker plug. All right. So sloop split Baxter, our blitz call, Lucky Ringo, goes to the dime. Okay, split, it's the dime. Tight, it's the rover. Okay, however you set up your terminology that, that makes sense to you, that's how our guys know it. That's how it's taught. So, you know, as long as things are consistent, which they are, you shouldn't have any problems teaching and learning. Okay? So the dime plugs A-gap. And in this case, it's going to plug A-gap from depth. We don't creep or anything like that. We don't tip off the receiver who in turn tips off the quarterback, and then they have a plan, right, to beat your blitz. Consequently, our safeties don't move either the ball snaps. So the only part of the trio coverage I'm going to show you is how we spin our safeties. Okay. And now part of that too is if you really want to know about trio coverage, you got to go to my zone blitz coverage playlist. So if you're a non-subscriber, please push that button. Okay. So the dime plugs a gap, the backer who's executing the Baxter. So see for us, no two defenders have the same letter. And in the one case where two defenders have an F, they also have a second letter, which is different. In this case, FC is field, corner, FS, free safety. So get different word. Well, that helps us when our uh, multiplicity and pressure packages, right? Any that begin with the letter B, everybody knows it's the backer, right? He's the only one that's a B. Make sense a little bit? So in the case of outside linebackers, sloop is for them, splits the dime, tights the, the uh, rover, okay? The defensive end is going to slant C-gap. So now let me get back to the nose, right? In the 3-4, the nose is the only defender who's a part of both sides. So for us, the way we package, the nose executes his assignment for the first Pressure call. So sloop split, the nose executes what he would do in sloop split. Okay? And by doing that, it's up to us as coaches to package a second blitz that does not put him in conflict. See, that's where the coaches come in. So you as the DC or the head coach or both got to go through your drill inventories, find the two pressures that when you organize it, nose is a part of the first pressure, the second pressure doesn't put him in conflict. Right, that's not fair, obviously, right? And so the nose is going to stick B gap, two gaps, to the call. So we don't call it long stick. For us, slant is one gap, stick is two. We're just trying to eliminate verbiage, okay? So the third key term here is it's good versus all personnel groups, not just 11, but 10, 12, 20, 21, 22 as well. This is also number four, good versus run and pass. Okay, it's good versus zone read, power read. All right, so I've used it against teams in passing situations. See, it depends on your opponent and tendencies. And, again, that's where coaching comes in, film study and tendency breakdowns and so forth. I've also used it against teams to defend against zone read or power read. Okay, so that's where we as coaches come in. Okay. So now what I want to do is take this and show it to you over here, okay? So lucky calls made by the dime, which is going to trigger what our safeties will do, and that's Louie calling, 
L left, L left, right? Keep it simple. So I'll get to the safeties in a minute. Okay, how we spin them when the ball snapped. All right. Our dime is not going to creep, not going to do it. When the ball snapped, he is going to blitz in here, but notice he's second. First, first. So let me deal with the two first guys, okay? Defensive end to the call, right? Slant C gap, nose. Sticks B gap. So now from depth, the dime is going to plug A gap. And it's easier, actually, timing-wise, to do this when he's detached. See, when he's detached, when two's removed, he detaches. It's You have to see my base front's playlist. Ah! Okay? And so that's how that works. And so now Baxter is, right, backer plug opposite A gap. There it is. It's a whole different blitz pattern. Okay, and all we did was combine two separate uh, plug blitzes, outside linebacker, inside linebacker, and I packaged two that didn't put our nose in conflict. So the last thing I want to go over is the safeties, okay? They hit lucky, automatically Louis, so they spin in the same direction as the pressure. So notice here the free safety sky versus run, that's our support. He's hot on two versus pass, so the ball snapped. He screws down towards the line of scrimmage. Okay, if the surface is showing pass, he's hot on two. If the surface was showing run, he's got force. The whip safety is going to rotate middle third. Again, ball snapped. As he's rotating, he reads his surface. Same showing pass. He gets into the deep middle. Okay? So, again, if you want to know more about trio... Zone Blitz coverage playlist. So as I said at the beginning, thank you for watching MJ's JS Coaching Football. Excuse me. If anybody has any questions, please reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com because I would love to talk football.